Hey y'all, welcome back to Stevie Do Tarot. Or if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. Um, we are going to be introducing my mom. She's going to be uploading some videos onto the channel. Um, and I know y'all have already seen some of the spell work videos that my sister has put up. Um, so you're gonna get to be introduced to the whole fam family. <laughs> here in just a little bit um, and now that we've kind of talked about that we can go ahead and get into the reading and pull a couple of cards we are starting out with eight of pentacles so I'm getting abundance I'm getting balance coming in here for the collective after a tower moment, starting off strong here at the beginning of this reading. Ooh, we got a couple cards flying out because they want to come out too. Wow. Wow. Nine and ten of cups. So after this tower moment, you're going to have abundance coming in. You're going to have wish fulfillment. You're going to have your dreams coming true. You're going to have, you know, one big happy family. If that's, if that's what you're wishing for, you know, it could be abundance. Um, right now I'm wearing my jade earrings that I've made. They've got these cute little wooden accents. And jade was often a symbol of wealth and prosperity. People tend to think of it. Um, to think of using it to attract uh, abundance and wealth and luck. So I think it was, <laughs> you know, a good thing we wore these earrings or maybe they're the ones that channeled this energy. So if you're interested, I'm going to be creating an Etsy shop for the jewelry that I make. And stones are a very powerful way to set an intention or, you know, attract abundance, attract luck. I was wearing my turquoise earrings that I made last time, and um, turquoise is great for dreaming if you're trying to have prophetic dreams or um, even lucid dreaming if you're into that. Uh, but also contacting spirit guides so if you're interested, stones are a very powerful way to set an intention going into the new year. We have five of swords, and I'm kind of getting <laughs> that it was this five of swords that led to this tower moment. Um, and it was kind of, earlier I was pulling a couple cards and I pulled the hangman. I know y'all can't see that so I have no way to prove it or whatever but I was kind of just doing a personal reading to kind of tune into some energy before I got started and I pulled the hangman and I was kind of getting that you're like stuck in limbo waiting on I also pulled the two of wands which is kind of a twin flame energy and I just feel like you're like waiting on this twin flame and I almost feel like that was like what happened last year you know what I mean? Going into this new year, you had the tower moment that led to you kind of cutting this person off. Or maybe if you didn't completely cut them out of your energy, you're at least pulling back some and putting that energy into yourself, which is great because it's going to lead to this Ten of Cups. It's going to lead to your wish fulfillment. And... Yeah... <laughs> See, we've got five and ten of swords. So I'm getting you had to leave something behind here for sure. I'm definitely kind of getting... You had to complete a cycle. Your own cycle. I kind of feel like they're definitely on their own journey. They're doing their own thing. And you had to complete this cycle in order to bring in this energy of prosperity and abundance. But it's coming in for you and it's coming in hot. You're getting lots of wealth and prosperity coming in this new year. 
yeah, two of pentacles, two of pentacles. So I'm also getting here that the energy is the feelings that you have for this twin flame. They are reciprocated. It is balanced, but I do feel like you are at a point where you had to say goodbye or, or you're going to need to say goodbye in order to just give that energy back to yourself. You know, it's not that the feelings aren't reciprocated. It's that the energy isn't being reciprocated. And so it's time for you to pull that energy away from them and give it back to yourself. And they're going to feel that. They're going to feel the absence of your energy. And it's going to really cause them to miss it and to want it back and to realize how much they took it for granted. Is what I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. The devil just popped out. Um, and I really like the devil energy. It is doing what feels pleasurable. Um, and I feel like that is kind of the energy that puts you into the state of mind that allows you to attract abundance, doing what feels pleasurable, doing what feels good. If you want to shoot, I know you, people tend to think of working as what makes the money, but if you wanted to take some of your paid time off, take a day off and just take a nap because that just would feel good. And that would just be delicious at the day at the time. Because you wake up in the morning real early and it's snowing outside. There's three inches of snow and you don't want to drive to work because it's cold and your monkey brain says, no, I should be resting today because <laughs> I'm just an animal. I'm just a mammal. And it's cold outside. It's cold and wet. So I'm going to stay home and I'm going to take a nap. That is the kind of energy of the devil doing what feels delicious. And that is the energy that's actually going to attract abundance into your life. Not going to work every single day and feeling burnt out and not taking care of your needs because you have to put bills first or whatever. Which I get it. Don't put yourself in a situation where you're not going to be able to pay your bills because of me. Like, that's not what I'm saying. That was just an example. A pretty easy example of doing what feels good. We have King of Pentacles. Y'all have seen this. Every single time I've used this deck, we have King of Pentacles. And I feel like that's you. You're the King of Pentacles. You are the King of Pentacles. You are attracting abundance. You have mastered that energy of doing what feels good in order to attract abundance. That's what I'm getting here. 